Hello, this is Lias from PKIAS.io. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Certify the Web ACME client to request a certificate from PKIAS.io. So let's just start out by clicking the buttons that we would click to create this request. So I'll just start out by saying new certificate, and we get a prompt that says get started by registering a new contact, then you can start requesting certificates. We say OK. First thing we notice is we don't see PKIAS.io in this list. So we'll cancel out of that, select settings, and under certificate authorities, again, we don't see our site in this list here. So we want to click edit certificate authorities. We're going to create a new one. The title will make PKIAS.io. And we need to enter our production API URL here. And so we need to log into PKIAS.io. And we're going to choose again this YouTube Demo CA Certificate Authority. If you haven't yet created a Certificate Authority, I'll leave a link in the description below to our video about getting started with the site. And so in this case, I'm going to go to Acme and select Policies. I'm going to create a new policy for this Acme client. I'll just call it CTW for Certify the Web. I'm going to choose the web server template, and this time I'm not going to choose or allow any pre-approved domains, which means this Acme client will need to do either HTTP or DNS validation for the domain names for any certificates that I request. And I'll select Create Policy. Then we need to create a provisioning URL, which is what we use as that production API URL. So select Create. I'll just again say CTW. We'll limit this to one account registration and say create provisioning URL. All we need here is this URL. We can close out. We could see one use remaining. After we do this registration, that should go down to zero. So I'll put this here. And I'll allow untrusted single domain wall card, multiple SAN, save that. We can see now we have it in the list, and we'll select it as preferred. And we'll go back to Manage Certificates, and we'll try New Certificate again. We get the same prompt, but this time we have PKIAS.io in the list. We'll just put in a bogus email for this registration and register the contact. All right, now that our contact has been registered, we can actually start configuring the Certify the Web Client for our certificate request. And in this case, I'll be requesting it for the domain opennebula.spielerfamily.com. And under Advanced, I'm going to choose to specify PKIAS.io as the CA. And for authorization, I'm going to do HTTP. And I will be using the Caddy web server to serve up the HTTP files. And you can see here for HTTP validation, the app will automatically create the challenge response file required. You must allow the HTTP request import 80. So Caddy is going to serve up static files in this web route. And we will actually see the ACME files, the authorization files that Certify the Web creates here. I'll go ahead and delete this, and we'll watch it recreate that directory. And for deployment, we're just going to choose Certificate Store only. And as of right now, we see there are no certificates in the store. So I'll save this like it is, and we'll go ahead and do our first certificate request. Before we do, this uses remaining that I mentioned earlier is zero now and I'm going to go ahead and delete this and what we'll be looking for now is for this certify the web policy to have a, an additional order on it and let's start this process and we should see certify the web create that directory like I mentioned here for that ACME authorization All right, there's the directory. 
I'm just watching the status from the Certify the Web client. And it looks like it was successful and it's requesting a certificate now. All right, it was successful. And let's refresh this. The client created the certificate here in the cert store. And we should see an additional order here. That's good. And we should see the certificate that was issued here. All right, if you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And for more videos and announcements from PKIAS.io, please don't forget to subscribe.